proposed by me. The, the item three is we originally set up corporate sponsors as non-voting positions. I've had a few people from the companies phone me up saying, Ruth, it's a little bit unfair. Can we not have one representative? So what I'm going to propose is that each corporate sponsor is allowed to, to have an individual member status, if you like. One person that can come along and be voting, because I think they do have the right to have a say. So that's another proposition. Um, item four on the agenda was to amend the subscription term, which just is a historical mistake, really. It still says from April for 12 months. Your joining is from 12 months from the day you pay your money. That was amended a little while ago. It just seems to be an error in the Constitution, so that needs to go. Item 8, we always had the AGM in November. The last two years, it's been in February. I think February is the month we should have it. Um, it doesn't clash with things like Sandown. It also is a dull part of the year. So um, we just propose that the AGM should be moved constitutionally to February. And item 17, finally, we haven't included the fish, fish Welfare Fund, which I've spoken about, in the bank account system. So we have the bank accounts declared in the Constitution, but we haven't declared our interest as a trustee of the Fish Welfare Fund, so I just propose that we put that in. So um, if I can ask you to vote individually on those items, to propose the, a, a reduction of the aims and objectives. So those four, those people that are for <coughs> the reduction of the aims and objectives, yeah. and those people that are against the reduction, to consider that passed. Okay. Item three... Corporate sponsors to have one single vote. Those that agree, those that don't agree. Lovely, that's passed. Item four, to amend the subscription term at 12 months from joining. I'll well, stick your hands up and stick it down again. Um, <laughs> item eight, move the AGM to February. Anybody got a real problem with that? Everybody's happy. Yeah. Item 17, the inclusion of the Fish Welfare Fund. Is everybody happy with that? Can we have a vote that that goes into the ECHO Constitution? Anybody against that? Because that's quite an important part of our Constitution. No, okay, that's lovely. Item five, the subscriptions currently stand at £20 for an individual, £50 for a corporate and under 16s free of charge. Because I haven't received any motions to adjust those fees, this year will continue with the same money. But I'd like to just make a point of clarification. Under 16s, we've had a few problems with. We've had a lot of people sign up very, very young people, two, three years old. Wow. Which is fine if they are linked to a member. That's the decision we've come to. If people are just signing up young as, to bulk out the figures, we understand the drive behind it, but we've had to think about it, and politically it doesn't really make much sense. So what we've decided is from 12 to 16, a junior member can be an individual member in their own right, and that will be free of charge. Under the age of 12, if somebody wants to register a child that's under 12, they must be linked to a member that is already in membership, yeah? Is that fair? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, so that, that's really just a clarification of the position which we'll write up for you. Um, I haven't got a number six. Which is great. Ruth, so, yes. Any other business? Any is other there, business? Is there any evidence to show that it's twenty pounds that's stopping people from becoming members, or is it just apathy? Well, I have. I think if it's twenty-five, you wouldn't have any difference. I, I, I'm reluctant to put the, the the fee up. To be fair, and <laughs> the reasons for that is is exactly what Andy has just said. Echo could spend a lot of money if it had a lot of money. We could find lots of things to do with it. I have been a believer in all of my commitment to Echo that your money should do nothing apart from fund the protest group. Anything outside of that should come from the angling related trade, the commercial fisheries, the people that are making money out of what you're doing. That's my belief. So I'm reluctant to put the money up to an individual. I want their support. I understand what you're saying, but I don't see any more. You've got 10 grand in the bank today. You know, what's yeah. the, what I need is people. Well, what you need is to find out why people aren't joining. That We're trying thing. hard, but I think sometimes it's they just don't join yeah. stuff, babe. I don't think reducing or increasing the membership fee would affect. No. Uh, because we've had a situation working with the SAA where they dropped their subscription from 20 to 10 pounds, and in fact, your membership has neither grown, in fact, probably decreased. Uh, decreased as the NASA members decided exactly. to Exactly. So I, I really don't think that's a point of relevance. I think 20 pounds is a nice round amount for mm. most people, you know. So from that point of view, I will consider it as a motion. If you want to post it in for next AGM, I'll, I'll happily consider the increase in subs. Ounce, yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely right. Um, is there anything else from the floor? Is there anything that any... People can catch up with me during the... Is there anything that somebody wanted to bring into the minuted discussion tonight at the end of the meeting? No? Bloody marvellous. Um, in which case, I declare... 
the 2008 AGM closed, and I'm going to hand over to Chile, who's going to do a little bit of a board presenting. Thank you very much for your.